Thank you, Raju Bhai. Thank you for this question. Uh, this is the question which I'm answering day in and day out, basically. Okay. Uh, talking about the growth drivers for the all-electric machines, uh, I would like to say that in the present uh, competitive manufacturing environment, this uh, energy efficiency and the quality is a given thing, basically. So it's like, uh, as simple as that, it's like your birthright. These are the basic requirements for the injection molders. Uh, what we are seeing now, nowadays is that, I mean, the, uh, the job shop molder, basically they win or loses the orders based on the part per piece cost, basically. So the most uh, important thing right now is the total lowest cost of ownership. So basically, this is what is driving the growth for the all-electric machines. So in terms of uh, the growth drivers, if I have to mention, uh, first and foremost is the reliability of the product or reliability of the injection molding machine, basically. Second is the productivity angle. So machine has to be productive. And uh, the third important thing which uh, the speaker from uh, GEO also mentioned is a predictable machine. So it has to be uh, equipped with all the predictable features so that, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, I mean the ma manufacturer or the injection molder will not be wasting any time in this, uh, I mean, all uh, related aspects like the production or the maintenance related snacks which are happening in the industry. Rather than that, he will be focusing his attention on the proactive business growth or the maintenance related Thank you, Raju Bhai. Thank you for this question. Uh, this is the question which I'm answering day in and day out, basically. Okay, uh, talking about the growth drivers for the all-electric machines, uh, I would like to say that in the present uh, competitive manufacturing environment, this uh, energy efficiency and the quality is a given thing, basically. So it's like, uh, as simple as that, it's like your birthright. These are the basic requirements for the injection molders. Uh, what we are seeing now, nowadays is that, I mean, the, uh, the job shop molder, basically they win or loses the orders based on the part per piece cost, basically. So the most driving the growth for the all-electric machines. So in terms of uh, the growth drivers, if I have to mention, uh, first and foremost is the reliability of the product. So machine has to be productive. And uh, the third important thing which uh, the speaker from uh, GEO also mentioned is a predictable machine. So it has to be uh, equipped with all the predictable features so that, uh, uh, I mean, the, uh, I mean the ma manufacturer or the injection molder will not be wasting any time in this, uh, I mean, all uh, related aspects like the production or the maintenance related snacks which are happening in the industry. Rather than that, he will be focusing his attention on the proactive business growth. So basically, uh, the thing which is uh, most important right now is the lowest, total lowest cost of ownership. Thank you, sir. Business uh, segment. But our question is here uh, that how the vision inspection, because a lot of people are curious to know about it, how to apply it, and what is the need of applying that? Scaling up or accuracy or what? Would you like me to explain the video first or just go to the vision? No, I think vision inspection should be the... Thank you, Raju Bhai. <coughs> so, vision inspection is a part of our initiative to go towards zero defect manufacturing. You know, all of, uh, all of the big uh, brands here, the industry, and you, don't, you have less and less people on the processes. When your product from an injection molding or a blow molding goes to the brand, and there is an automated assembly line or an automated filling line or automated packing line, they don't have people anymore to check if something escaped your eyes before it left your factory. Uh, if you have, especially when you have large scale, it is extremely difficult to check each and every component or each and every bottle or each and every product. And uh, you're also dependent on the We assess whether the product is okay or not okay. We measure the dimension. So the, the, does it mean that it is a cost, accuracy, and scale? When you're scaling up, uh, people use the vision input. Yeah, sure. So the aspects here is uh, it's part and parcel of the enterprise can have a real-time view of the uh, stays, you know, downstream and also help you lower the cost, the product cost. Mr. Angelo touched upon this important aspect of material cost and, and, so, and, and other costs involved because we being India, we are very price sensitive. 